Hi guys, it's Casey Uller, your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. I just want to go over with you um, the Norwex Microfiber and do a couple demonstrations. So this is our Norwex Microfiber. To be considered microfiber, it has to be one-sixth of human hair. So just take one little gray hair and split that six times. So that is any kind of Norwex, or any kind of microfiber that you can buy in the store, the dollar store, Walmart, wherever. Um, just a generic uh, microfiber. And then the Norwex Microfiber is, again, take that hair, that gray hair and split it 200 times. So tiny, tiny, tiny fibers split into the cloth and it's woven into the cloth really tightly. Um, and then that kind of forms like a, a spider web kind of shape and that's what's gonna clean your surface. So I like to compare it. Um, you can clean, you can clean um, mechanically, chemically, and thermally um, by heating it up. So I like to compare the Norwex to um, Pull, uh, killing weeds. So you go out and kill your weeds with a weed killer, a chemical, and that kills the weeds. The the weed is dead and it's just laying there. Um, or you can go out with a shovel and dig out the weed and pull it and completely remove the weed and it's gone. So that's kind of like the Norwex um, concept. We are not using chemicals to clean and remove. We're just using our cloth and that is mechanically kind of shoveling that the bacteria off of the surface. Um, and then our cloths have backlock in it. So on the tag it says the name of the cloth and then it says backlock. That means there's silver in there. So the silver is embedded into the cloth. You're gonna clean off your surface, get that bacteria in there. It's gonna get trapped into the fibers. Um, and then the silver is gonna clean your cloth. So wherever there's presence of silver, bacteria can't grow. So the silver in our cloth is like the birth control for the bacteria. The bacteria will not grow will not grow in your cloth and that um, is going to keep your cloth from smelling like a traditional um, uh, cleaning cloth would smell after using it over and over. Um, so this is Norwex microfiber. I just get it wet, wipe down my surface. You can wash any kind of surface. Floors, walls, windows, ceilings, cars, toys, um, you name it. I don't use any cleaning chemicals anymore. So you can clean 90% of your home with just microfiber and water. So I'm going to show you how to clean a mirror here. This is my mirror. I got it. I got um, butter on there to show you how dirty it is. If this was um, a window cleaner and paper towels, it would be a mess and you're going to be reusing that and throwing it away and being very wasteful. So just get your butter cloth wet, keep it flat on the surface. That butter wipes right off without smearing and then you're gonna go behind it with the window cloth. So the window is purple, um, P, I think purple, P for polishing. Um, it goes behind and makes everything shine. Use it on your windows, your appliances, any kind of chrome that you want to shine. It's so easy. I just give it to my kids and they can um, kinda clean any surface nice in the cars to have a set too. Okay, that is the window cloth and the viral cloth. Um, and next, I'm gonna show you our dusting mat. Our, this is so awesome. It comes in green, gray, green, gray, and blue. This is our green one. You just get it, kind of rub it together and get that static clean and you're gonna go along your furniture and clean um, the dust off it. It will save you tons of time. Um, you're not using any kind of spray on your surface that attracts the dust and makes you have to dust more often. So. Um, just rub it together and go across your Okay, so this is the dusting mitt. I'm just gonna go, this is my fake dust on my counter there. I'm gonna go across the surface. Oops. And then you can see it's just on to the dusting mitt. So there was a lot there. Um, and then you can take your rubber brush and kind of brush it out. Okay, what I love about this, I just wanna talk to you um, quickly about our disinfecting wipes. This is what I used to clean all the time with. Um, I get a I wipe out, wipe off the surface, um, and then let my kids sit down and eat lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, and I wasn't like removing that. So I never read the back of the, the disinfecting wipes. So if you look at your disinfecting wipes and read the back of it, it says you're supposed to keep the surface wet for five to 10 minutes. Um, I wasn't doing that. And who has time for that, honestly? So, and if you re read, it says it kills 99.99% of bacteria. But if you look closer, there's only about five strands of bacteria that it actually kills. So um, the way I was using it, I was just spreading it around, spreading those germs around. And I'm gonna show you a demonstration here in a little bit how that, how that works and what I was doing. Um, and then it says you're supposed to completely rinse the surface with water after you're using it to remove that chemical um, 
so you're not exposing everybody to that. Um, last year, Ella started kindergarten and we were able to get the um, disinfecting wipes off of the school supply list. All the classrooms now have EnviroCloth. So before, you know, the kids would go out to recess, the teacher would take the Clorox wipe from desk to desk to desk and she would start, say, at Ella's desk and Ella's been sneezing and coughing all over that desk and she wipes that desk and then she goes to Claire's desk and she takes Ella's desk and she's moving it to Claire's desk and then she goes from Claire's to Rebecca's and it's same Clark's wipe and she's quickly wiping everything down going desk to desk to desk and just spreading those germs all around and then Claire and Becca and uh, Ella come in from recess and they're they're doing their work and they're having their snacks and they're laying their desk their head on their desk and they're just being exposed to those chemicals so I just encourage you um, to take a look at your cleaning supplies take a look at your um, personal care products and see what's in those and look those up um, because it's really scary and we have to stop exposing ourselves and especially especially our children um, to those toxic chemicals so I am going to show you a quick demonstration of how the Clorox wipes works glow derm that simulates the germs it will light up with a black light um, when there are germs on the surface I'm just going to take the Clorox the disinfecting wipe and wipe the surface clean like I would on my counter before I feed my kids and then I'm going to take that black light and just see how it just spreads those germs all around where those smears are. Okay, now I'm going to take my EnviroCloth, keep it flat on the surface, and just wipe quickly. And it's gone. All right, I'm going to take that same um, Clorox wipe, disinfecting wipe, and bring it back to my counter. Just wipe it, so as if I was going to another desk in the class, and then take a look what happens. There's the germs again. I'm going to grab my Enviro cloth. Ooh, here goes my dust. And wipe it clean and it's gone and then if I grab that clerk the disinfecting wipe again it's back on the surface the shrieking germs spreading around to another desk and the chemicals staying behind